it's just the ice, you know? It's like going through a piece of rock. <laughs> yeah, you get hit in the face. Yeah, it'll probably take at least an hour, I would say. Just got out here again. Um, yeah, we just had a huge snowstorm come through yesterday, and uh, there's at least an extra foot of snow now. And uh, it took a long time for me to hike up here with my snowshoes, and uh, even with my snowshoes, I still was sinking down up to my thigh. So oh, it's a little tiring getting up here, so. Uh, because of all the snow, I'm probably not going to do a lot of walking around and gathering materials today. I'll probably just hang out here at the camp, try to finish up the platform over here, uh, which is almost done, and uh, see if I can finish up the little firewood storage area right over here. And uh, maybe just hang out and cook some food. I think that'll probably be it for today. But, uh, yeah, last time... You saw me working on the supports for those walls. Uh, so, yeah. 
yeah, those uh, those diagonal supports. I just dug some little holes, uh, stuck them in the ground like that, so they'll uh, make sure that wall isn't gonna fall because it was making me a little nervous. Um, so I feel a lot better about it now. I did that on both sides, so that's good to go. Um, this main structure is nearing completion. Um, not that there's not gonna continually be things I can do, uh, little details I can add, but uh, for the most part, the main thing is just about done. So it's pretty cool. All right, I got uh, a bunch of these nailed in place. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna go trudging through the snow to try to find more. I might find some close by. Um, otherwise, I might call it a day on this. But uh, once I get all the sticks on, I'm going to gather up a bunch of pieces of bark like this so I can lay them on here like this, like shingles, and uh, hopefully make this pretty waterproof. So the last time I was out here, I thought I was recording it, but something went wrong and it didn't actually record. But uh, I was putting these pine, these pine boughs, fir boughs, whatever, uh, over uh, the firewood storage area. And um, I don't normally like cut live stuff out here, um, but this huge tree. Fell, I think during the last snowstorm uh, just right over there thankfully it didn't fall this way and uh, so I just thought I'd take advantage of that and I took all the all the green branches off of it and thought it'd be good for snow protection so I still did a little bit of bark underneath uh, but then when I saw this I just decided to use that instead and piled about six inches worth on top so I think it'll work all right. this big old log from this fallen tree 
This thing is heavy too. I'm gonna probably need a second person to carry it. It's gotta weigh several hundred pounds at least, but uh, this is gonna be one of the vertical supports for my tree platform. And uh, I don't even know if I've mentioned that in previous videos. I plan on building a tree platform right over here next to the camp. And uh, I figure the way I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna use some strong logs for vertical supports. And those are going to be what's bearing all the weight. And those are going to be strapped to the side of the, the trees. And then my horizontal beams are going to rest in this little U-notch that I cut. Um, but it's not going to be like nailed in or anything. It's just going to kind of float here. Uh, so that will allow the trees to still move around and sway in the wind without ripping my platform apart. And uh, so I gotta cut about six of these total uh, before I can start putting up those beams. And uh, so that's why I brought the chainsaw up here today, because I could do this by hand, but it would just, it would take a little while. Uh, so that's the plan. be all I uh, do with the chainsaw today because I can't seem to get it started again. Uh, it's only my second time ever using a chainsaw so maybe I'm just an idiot and I don't know what I'm doing but uh, I can't get the thing to work. Well, I actually managed to carry that freaking huge thing over here and get it vertical against the tree and uh, I was getting ready to kind of start strapping it on but uh, I, I'm kind of changing my mind about the height I was gonna have it about 10 feet high um, but I think my ladder is kind of borderline height for that so I think I'm going to drop it down another foot or two, which means I need to cut that thing a little shorter. But uh, I can't get the chainsaw started, so I don't know if I'm going to mess with that today. Um, so instead, I'm just going to start lashing these ladder rungs on. Um, I drilled holes with a hand drill and put some big nails in there. Uh, but I'd still feel a little more comfortable if they were lashed on. Uh, so I'm going to work on that. And then... Uh, I'll decide what to do next.
afterwards because I don't want to attract bears. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Oh, it's like perfect. Oh my gosh, that's so good. <laughs> did I tell you about this flavor or did I tell you about this? Corbin, how many water bottles did you say you brought? Straight down, or are you going at an angle? Go at angle, not straight. Oh, there we go. Ooh. There it is. Hey, wait, let's split it. Here, Brian, split it with this. Watch your step, as you're spread out. There we go. Yeah, if it falls, just, just let, let it, it go. go. <laughs> and yell. <laughs> oh.
that way. That way. Yeah. So, where do we want to cut it? If we want it to fall that way. I'm out here by myself today. Um, yeah, my friend got sick, so he wasn't able to come out. And uh, I think this is what well, maybe day eight of recording since the last video. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of narration. I just kind of filmed the things we're doing, um, but I'll kind of like briefly go go over the stuff I've been working on. And, um, Oh man, I just got done cooking some steak and eggs, which was awesome. Um, so I think I showed the, the firewood storage in the last video. Um, but I don't remember if it was finished or not. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, I've got, got that all done. Um, I, uh, I started laying it with bark, but this huge tree fell over uh, not very far away uh, during this big snowstorm we had, and so I uh, just figured I'd gather all the green branches off of that and layer that on there because it was easier to gather than finding good pieces of bark. Um, I was glad to be done with that. As you can see, pretty much all the snow is melted, which is nice. Um, oh, what else? Um, I've been working on this frame up here, where I may eventually have a... Uh, the frame isn't finished yet, by the way. I still need more um, more sticks going, going down, but it'll be like a, a grid work of sticks. And I may put, like... A uh, big 20-foot tarp up there, but uh, I just want it to be uh, an optional roof. So if it's some bad weather, I can roll the tarp out. Otherwise, I'd like to keep it open, uh, be able to see the sky, let the smoke out easier. Uh, so that was something I started on. And then, oh. and then you've. Uh, Seen us working on this tree platform uh, using that two man saw that I bought. I uh, found it at an antique store for pretty cheap. And that thing made work a lot easier for cutting through these huge supports. Um, and so basically, what we did here is I uh, found these good sturdy logs, you know, nothing that's gonna rot away anytime soon. 
and uh, those are just ratcheted to the tree. So those aren't going anywhere, but the uh, horizontal beams, those are just kind of floating in these notches that we cut on top of those supports. And that'll allow the trees to still move, and those beams can slide back and forth through that notch and kind of just float there. Um, so when the trees sway in the wind or whatever, it won't just rip the platform apart. Um, that's my that's my theory anyway. See how well it works. Uh, um, I just got to start laying beams across this way for the floor. Uh, I also want to put some supports in for these because there's not really anything supporting this right now. That's been the main thing we've been working on. Um, oh, and then of course we got the ladder I put together. Um, what else? I think I. Uh, then uh, the other thing I was working on was uh, I figured I'd, I kind of want to start a little garden up here and at least just try it, see how it works out. I'm trying to try to pick out some plants that are. You know, I have a better chance of doing okay in um, relatively dry climate. Um, can handle a little bit of cold. Um, I don't plan on like watering them a whole lot because carrying water up this hill, you know, that's just it's a lot of work. So, um, and the water I do have up here, I like to just uh, keep on standby for, uh, you know, just in case the fire gets out of control or something crazy happens with that. Um, so I'm just kind of planting stuff and give it a little water and then I'm going to leave it alone. If it grows, awesome. If not, you know, whatever. Just a fun little experiment. Um, so I got like some, planted some potatoes, uh, some peas, some uh, broccoli, uh, and then I'm going to just try to plant some peppers and some corn. And uh, I don't know, I'll see if anything grows. It'll be fun. about uh, halfway done with this platform. Uh, there's been a lot of wind today, um, so I've kind of been able to see how my uh, structure is going to behave in the wind, and I can see the trees kind of moving everything around. I see the beams kind of sliding on those, uh, on, in those notches like I expected, um, you know, so that's cool. Um, but as I, I, I put this last uh, beam in, and then I, I just realized, like, um, I could have been doing this in a better way uh, to allow for 
flexibility when there's wind, um, you know, but still have it hold together strong. Um, so I've been nailing in, you know, both sides of each beam. Um, what I think I should have done is just nailed in one side of each one and alternate the sides so that you kind of have this action where it's able to, they're able to spread apart, um, but they wouldn't be able to go so far as to where the logs are going to fall off the platform, you know, so they'd be secured, but still able to move, and, um, and it would save me nails, too. Um, but it's kind of too late. I can't really go back and take those out. And those, those are like six or seven inch nails, so yeah, it's be pretty tough to try and pull those out. But um, I guess I can do that from this point on. Uh, but uh, I might just be able to finish this thing today. Let's see. done with the platform, but uh, I think I'm going to wrap it up for the day. The sun is setting, and uh, I'll probably finish this up next time. Uh, later.